shut up and sit down. All right, guys, welcome to Big Mech's workshop and paint studio. I'm Dodge, and today we're doing another green stuff video. We covered pipes in the other one, but we're going to try something a little bit different as we're still working on the Forge Fiend. So if you don't know or haven't watched the first one, what we're doing here is using a bit of rolled up green stuff into a pipe and we are going to roll over the top of that with a um, comb. That's going to put little din dints in it, um, similar to the sort of pipes you see on the back of any heavy gunner for the Space Marines. That, that's part one of that. Um, secondly, we're going to start putting, same way we did all the ripped flesh, so I flattened out a bit of green stuff onto some um, plastic with some Vaseline over it so it doesn't stick and what we're going to do is use the plastic to roll this green stuff I've got with the holes in it over the top of it so we're going to make the sort of either ripped pipe sort of look or the Nurgle pipe look that you already get on the Forge Fiend uh, if you've seen the underneath of the Forge Fiend there's a lot of stuff that looks like this anyway we're going to um, fuse that together around the back so you've got a long strip with a pipe on the inside like so and you can see that through the fleshy bits what we're going to do then is we're going to get a sculpting tool and manipulate some of these bits so they look like they are stuck to the rest of the pipe just pulling them back and forth and being careful not to uh, pick up any or dint any of the previous pipe on the on inside I mean, that one's really, really simple to be honest. Um, it was just something I thought I'd try out, see if it works. But yeah, you can just add that alongside all the other types of pipes it's got. You can see them under its um, gun stand there, pipes with bits of flesh over it. And the second part of this video, it's only a short one today, guys, is we're going to have a go at making chains for this Forge Fiend and wrap them around him. So I'm starting with a. Um, rolled out a bit of green stuff and all I'm doing is following along putting holes in it with a um, with a sculpting tool from a wax sculpting set. I'm twisting it so the green stuff doesn't stick as much and I also find it gives a, a better result. Now we've made the indentations, I want to widen them up a bit so I'm using the rubber sculpting tool and twisting again just to open those up a bit more so we've got space to put the other part of the chain. I've not had much practice doing these, it's uh, as usual with these videos, it's me mucking about with green stuff, seeing what I can come up with. The end result was okay, I could probably do better, but I've not tried it before. Now I'm using two wax sculpting tools, you could use anything with a straight edge really though, bits of plastic card or something, and we're going to pinch the middle bits, so you've got, well, that's going to make us the uh, chain links there, because we're going to put another piece of green stuff over the top of this and push it in, so I thought best off getting these bits done first rather than trying to do it when you've got the other bit of green stuff over the top because then there's more bits of green stuff to move around, it's harder to manipulate. So we're just sort of getting this out of the way first. Once we've done that, we're rolling up a thin bit of green stuff again, about the thickness of the rest of the chains now. Only one half of the chain link is the size you want it when it's rolled. We're using a wax sculpting tool and giving that a wiggle while pushing it down, we're going to push back into those holes and this will cause all your green stuff to uh, bend and twist into the hole for you and this is how we're going to start making our chain it does take a while to make these but it does work out okay um, looks alright and on back to the forge fiend which is at the moment is called fluffy and his forge fiend is called cuddles no his molar fiend is called cuddles Snuggles, sorry, not cuddles. What I'm doing now is, uh, if you've been watching the rest of the series, same sort of technique where I've dremeled the top of the armor plating out. Now I'm going to start putting in green stuff. Because I want these chains to go in and out of the out of fluffy. So I'm starting to build up some flesh. 
putting down a bit of green stuff to work with, then a pipe of green stuff around where where the armor's going to meet it, so you don't have these big hollow gaps. You'll see why this is in a minute when I put the lid on and it all seals itself together. Now to make sure that makes contact with the other part, what I'm going to do is um, get some more bits of green stuff and work from the inside out, the same way we have done with the rest of the forge fiend. And pushing those through, you start to get a look like there's flesh underneath the armor rather than just green stuff added. I'm going to get the rubber sculpting tool again start pushing the edges so they connect and bond properly and as you can see it's sort of um, round texture over the top but we can manipulate this again later I'm going to stick some glue on there and just bond that straight on now when you manipulate the green stuff through there the underneath and the top part the underneath green stuff and the other layer we put on will bond together making a torn flesh sort of look. Now before putting your chains on, because uh, they require a lot of work and you don't want to mess them up, we're just going to put a ton of Vaseline where the chain's going to go, because we don't want it to stick immediately and then stretch it. Once you've decided where you want your chains to go from, you want to cut one of the links off, well I did anyway to make it fit where I wanted. I wanted it to come out from underneath the armour plating and work its way back into the flesh. You also want to make sure you've got more chain than you need when you start this. Otherwise you'll uh, cut yourself short and have to sculpt the two pieces together. As you can see it took me a while to manipulate it which is why I covered all the neck part in Vaseline. If you end up with any unneat bits of chain you can always you know touch it up and uh, cover it with other Nurgle stuff. Not so forgiving on other types of model but that's one of the chains on there. I'm going to put on a second one in a minute to um, add some more details to it and then I'm probably going to put a uh, bell or something on the front of the chain hanging off of his neck. We might even make him a collar that says fluffy on it. Because why not? We're just having a laugh with these green stuff videos. So that chain goes in the back behind the Nurgling and we'll need a bit more green stuff. Then I put on a, another chain around the other side. So as you can see Fluffy's starting to come to life now. Um, still got a few more videos to get out of him before we do a painting tutorial for him. But he's a lot of fun to muck about with. Um, it's a shame that they don't get Death Guard Forge Fiends anymore. But, you know, that's the way it goes. I may as well finish this project. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If this helped you with your green stuffing, hit that like, hit subscribe, and share with your friends. I'll catch you in the next one.